Okay, so I left you question 10 and question 11 to do. So I'm going to go through the solutions to save us a bit of class time. And obviously, if you have any questions, you can let me know. So a hairdryer oh, with a plastic casing uses a coiled wire as a heat source. When an electric current flows through the coiled wire, the air around it heats up and a motorized fan blows the hot air out. What is electric current? So electric current, electric current is the flow of electric charge. Um, and an example of a flowing charge, and probably a specific example to this, would be the flow of electrons, because in a coil, it would be electrons. Heating is one of the, is one effect of an electric current, give two others. So two other effects are, what was that, heating? Heating. So the chemical effects, And the magnetic effect are the other two. Um, oh, I'm sure I might have a look at the scheme now. I think I put it. I did. I these weren't here the other day actually, so I added these in. So the marking scheme. Question ten. All right now. Eight, nine. So you can have a look at the marking scheme yourself. It is here. Oh, question ten is a replacement, which means it's in here. Here. Uh, so flow of charge was six marks and magnetic chemical three and three. Right. Okay. So the diagram shows a basic electric circuit for a hairdryer. Describe what happens when switch A is closed and the rheostat is adjusted. So if switch A is closed, then this becomes a completed circuit. Um, so when switch A is closed, current will flow. And if you adjust the rheostat, you can change the amount of current flowing. So I part A, sorry, one part A. So current, will flow because there's a 230 volt potential difference there so any electrons in the area will start moving so current will flow and if you adjust the rheostat um you can adjust the amount of Current flowing. I don't know if they want anything more specific there. It just says describe what happens. Okay. Have a look. Speed of rotation changes. They're talking about the fan. Okay, so it will adjust the amount of current and more current will, me ooh, will mean the fan moves faster. Yeah, it's not really super clear what they want there that Again, just the 
What question? So in switch A and B are closed. So if we then close B as well. So the current flows and if you reduce the resistance, you can increase the current and you can get the fan to go faster. And then by closing the circuit at B, the current, say when it gets to here, some of it, oh, sorry, some of it will go through the fan and some of it will go through the coil. So it will heat up. And then instead of the fan just blowing air or just rotating, it will blow hot air. So are they just looking for the coil will heat up? And like I said earlier, it will heat up the air around it. So that's weird. When the switch A is closed and the rheostat, okay, so it's three, three and three, it's just not. So coil will heat up and fan will blow hot air. I mean, what I would say, and if this was my exam, like I said that, as in I said, the fan will heat up and then instead of just blowing air around the fan or the coil will heat up and instead of blowing air around the fan will blow hot air around. Like, I don't think an exam question would be this vague, but if it was, just write it all down. Do you know, if that was my exam, I'd just be writing everything I said. Do you know? Um, okay, the maximum power generated in the heating coil is two kilowatts. I'm just going to... 2000 watts and in case I need it that is 2000 joules per second what is the initial resistance of the coil so are they just um, V equals I or that won't work because I don't know power equals is it P equals V I. Um, let's just double check that. Science, electricity. Yeah, there. P equals V I for power. Okay. Um, okay, so the power is 2000. The voltage is 230 by I. So we divide by 230, divide by 230, and we get I equals 8.7 amps for current. Yep. Mm, here. Oh, I didn't check the marks. I'll check in a minute. Um, B then. Is there a B? Yeah. Calculate the current that flows through the coil when the dryer is on. So now... Hmm. Hang on, that was the initial resistance. What is the initial resistance of the coil? So do I then have to do, sorry, V equals I or, V is 230, I is 8.7, and then we get or? And we divide that by 8.7 and divide this by 8.7. Oh, 
because yeah, eight point seven is not a resistance, which is what I was asked for. Twenty six point four. Twenty six point four. Uh, that's ohms because it's a resistance. Sorry, I'll actually look at this properly now. Oh, you did need to do both. 26.4 is right. So, hmm. So, 3, 3, and 3 for that. 3 for your formula. 3 for 8.7. The marking scheme says you need these units. You definitely don't. Mid answer and three and these units you do need for marks. Uh, so three, three, and three. Right, sorry. Oh, so calculate the current that flows with the coil when the dryer is on. Is that why they're giving it for marks? Oh, it's such a bad question. Sorry. So then the current is eight point seven amps, and that's why they're looking for marks. Is that right? Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, just weird the way it's asked. So the three isn't actually for here, it's for here. And that's why they're potentially deducting units in both places because you do need those units because it is a final answer. Okay, keep going. Um I might go up here. So part three, a length of nichrome wire has a diameter of 0 0.17 millimeters. So the diameter is 0 0.17 millimeters. Sorry, there's no point to write that again. I just wanted to write what the radius was. So 0 0.17 divided by two is 0 0.085. That's millimeters. So if we divide that by a thousand we get 8.5 or 10 to the minus 5 and that's meters calculate the length of the coil of wire now anytime they're mentioning like nichrome wire and giving diameters it's normally that resistivity formula and if you look down here they give the resistivity so uh science mm, there it is resistivity so rho equals or a over l Okay, so rho is 1.1 by 10 to the minus 6. That's your resistivity. Equals resistance. Um, we got the resistance in part A. So 26.4. I assume that's right, is it? A length of nichrome wire is used for the coil. So yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, okay, now the area. So the area is going to be pi or squared. So it's going to be pi by that number, which was 8.5 by 10 to the minus 5 squared. So I'm going to square that and I'm going to multiply it by pi. So I get two point oh sorry minus eight two point two seven by ten to the minus eight. Over and then the length oh calculate the length. Is it my only variable? Oh, of course it is. A key so multiply by length to cancel it out, multiply by length over here, and then divide by 1.1 by 10 to the minus 6, and divide by 1.1 by 10 to the minus 6. So we get length equals that multiplied by 26.4, divided by 1.1 by 10 to the minus 6, 
and I'm getting 0 0.54. 0 0.54, and it's a length, so meters. There you go. So there was, whoa, nine for calculating the area. And then the other nine for calculating the length. It seems a bit. Anyway, so it was three here, three here, and then three for this one. And then three for this formula, three for this formula, and three for your answer. Making 18 in total, hopefully.